at 34 feet long, just a shade longer than that, 8,400 pounds dry weight. This midsize but spacious couple's fifth wheel is going to make you swoon when you see what's inside. The Forest River Arctic Wolf 291 RL. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young, just chilling here in this beautiful 291 RL by Forest River Arctic Wolf. You know what? Tip of the hat, the Forest River, I say it a lot. They're manufacturing, the way they reduce and reuse, shrinking the carbon footprint, the way that the Arctic Wolf and Cherokee folks are really a think tank for RVs, um, really doing some good innovation. So tip of the hat, folks, tip of the hat for hat. Um, this is a great couples coach, especially if you want something kind of mid-sized, uh, spacious enough though that you could bring the grandbabies out or you know have the friends and family come join you. I'm seated right here on the trifold sleeper sofa, which is nestled here along the back wall, surrounded by panoramic windows with the solid wood balances and some of my favorite shades in the industry right now, the zebra shades, because you get to adjust the light that comes in and out. You have the rustic style end tables on both sides, dual USB charging and 110. Plus, over here on the campsite, we got some cubby storage underneath. And check out, well, hang on, before we get to the entertainment center, because that's cool, I want to show you this. Look at it. I can barely reach it. Frosted glass inlay here with my storage, mushroom lights, large windows, LED sconces, and those shaker-style cabinets with the graphite-style fixtures really make this RV pop. Light with dark accents. That's what people wanted. That's what Forest River's giving you. Throw that into a foamed, comfy, leatherette, trifold sleeper sofa. This is where the grandbabies are going to have fun sleeping. Why? Or just the kids. I say grandbabies because I just talked to a couple who's looking for something like this so their grandkids can come join them. And this is perfect. They're, as a matter of fact, I had to film this quick because I think they're going to take it home with them. But look at the entertainment center that we have over here. Sure, you got the storage up top. You got your palm mount right here, which is awesome. You can have one TV and just put this on the back of the TV, hook it up here, hook it up in the bedroom, hook it up outside. You don't have to buy seven TVs when you go camping because I'm going camping. I want to get out and see something. Sure, I want to watch Game of Thrones in the ball game, but come on, man. Yes, I'm watching reruns of Game of Thrones again, by the way. I missed it. It don't even get me started on the last couple of seasons. I know you feel me. Check out the backlight. Forest River loves that blue backlight, man. It's like a little dance party up in here when we get going. Get the music going. I mean, we got a roof-mounted subwoofer, 8-inch subwoofer over there, so you're going to have some good sound in here. You got your AM FM command center right here with HDMI, USB, plus it's Bluetooth and dual zones. So you can play the music in and out. You got the fireplace with roughly 4,000 BTUs of heat coming off of there, multi multiple flame settings, multiple light settings. Does a good job of knocking the chill off the air. Then I come over here to my chairs where I have massage, heat, and their recliners. So I kick this bad boy out. I'm at the base of a mountain. I'm at the lake. I'm at the beach. I got these large panoramic windows here. Once again, with the zebra shades, the solid wood balances, and maybe I got a cross breeze coming in because I have windows in my slides and windows here as well. And the next thing I know, fireplace is going, game is on. I wake up three hours later feeling refreshed and going, holy smokes, I didn't buy an RV with over six feet of head clearance in the slides. I bought an investment in my enjoyment, because that's what it's about. Rustic beveled edge table right here. Freestanding dinette, once again with the LED residential sconces. I like this because it gives it that rustic appearance. Sure, you want the amenities, we want the creature comforts of home, but we also want to have some beauty and some style when we're out camping. And pretty much wherever you sit or sleep, there's gonna be dual USB charging ports. Now, since this 291 RL does have opposing slides, it opens up the space for us to have an island kitchen. And look at my solid surface countertops with the molded edges right here. I got the hand sanitizing station, my cutting board, the undermounted farmhouse style sink with the apron and the sprayer nozzle there, giving me full reach all the way around. Love this because it's functional, it's beautiful, and I got tons of storage over here on the other side. Solid wood construction, full extension, ball bearing drives, brush, or excuse me, the matte black fixtures. You're going to see that all the way around with 
everything here with the Forest River Arctic Wolf. Forest River has hit that sweet spot with the Arctic Wolves that give you opulence, beauty, good construction without breaking the bank. Um, I'd say they're a little bit higher than mid-level, but they're priced at like that mid-level range. More space right here. I got more surface countertop right here. 110 power there. Flush mounted three burner cooktop with the grill style grate and the little LED light there. The 16 inch graystone oven, as well as my pot and pan storage here. And because they're always thinking innovation and what can we put in that's functional, but also kind of cool. How about a backsplash that doubles as a cutting board? It's just magnets. Boom. That's pretty cool. That's just one of those little small things that once you get your RV, sure, we got the microwave, we got the 10 cubic foot Canon fridge freezer combo that's 12 volt, vibration smart. I mean, you got all the space in the world, but it's those little things that are gonna make you enjoy the camping experience. The ceiling fan, the residential light inlay, the 15K BTU air conditioner, the 35,000 BTU furnace, the way that it's ducted so that you don't have soft spots. I mean, it's those little things that are gonna make you enjoy and wanna come out. Great coffee station space right here with more storage, as well as dual USB charging, large cabinets with the mushroom, and some space up top if I wanted to put a little plant. Frosted glass door on my pantry right here. My little mushroom light, great storage. I like the little built-in right there, that's pretty cool. And then as we walk up to the master right here, you'll see we got our hanging notches right there. I like how they left the underneath the stairs open. So if I need to put some shoes under there, I could almost like a mini mudroom, but not really. You also have the one control on this one. So you can control the awnings, the HVAC, the, the slides, all from your cell phone. Very nice touch. And then here's my command panel. Cut all my lights, run everything out. My one control Wi-Fi hotspot because we are set up with Wi-Fi, 4G, and LTE extender on there. My HVAC controls. Walk into my bathroom with the pocket door. Got the porcelain bowl with the foot flush. Good room, good space. I got the max fan here too. This fan moves about a foot of air per second. Really helps cool the whole thing down. Good space over here in the bathroom. Large single basin sink, once again, with that graphite black fixture. Check out my medicine cabinet. Can you get in there, Bobby? Let's see, look at that. Look at it. Raised lips. Good space. Good linen storage over here. Deep. Okay, good. I was glad because I saw that and I was like, eh, it's not a whole lot of it, but it's, it's deep. So that'd be good for the towels. And the residential style single surround shower. 36 inch right here with the almost indestructible shower door. I like that. I don't know if you ever, if you saw the Ultimate RV Show, my buddy Ben Hanlon from Forest River like started punching it. I'll let him do that because if I break it, it's on me. Shower nozzle right here. Large skylight inlay too. Cut the light off. Can't even really tell because of the natural light coming in. Good space left to right, up or down. I am not cramped. Slip resistant, easy to clean linoleum flooring in this one as well. Solid door leading me into the master bedroom. Got the queen size bed right here. Relax. Dang right, I'm gonna relax. Got set up for a uh, second AC too. Do you wanna put that in? Nightstand space, dual USB charging, 110. I got drawers. I got, once again, that decorative beveled edge on the nightstand there. Nice large drawer pull out. Good space, you need a reading light, CPAP machine. Ward storage. I got storage underneath the mattress. Strut supported, gotta have it. And look, here's my palm mount I was talking about before. So you can just bring the TV in from the entertainment center and be like, okay, kids, you're done. I'm watching it now. There's my power, my cable, and more ward storage space over here, plus mudroom storage underneath. Add that to the opposing windows on both sides. What else do you need? This is a midsize spacious, couple's fifth wheel that is built for entertaining, enjoying time with your, with your loved one, as well as the family members when they come visit. Because you might be that couple that loves your family, but when you're out, you wanna go out, you wanna enjoy some space. And when they come over, you wanna have the space. You feel me? I love my family. Don't get me wrong, I love my family. Woo! 
but a man can only take so much. So we've seen the inside is 291 RL. What do you say we go check out the outside? So here we are on the outside, of the 2021 Forest River Arctic Wolf 291 RL. Take a look at my beautiful painted fiberglass end cap. That aerodynamic aggressive profile, which is gonna help with the wind resistance while going down the road. The LED running lights, the Rhino Box pen that we have right here, which really helps with the turning radius. You'll notice how it comes to the point. That's gonna help not only with the turning radius, but the Rhino Box is also good at you know chucking and bucking. Got your storage box in here with the spare tire and the battery box. I always call that a gen box because, you know, most fifth wheels, if you want to put a generator in, just talk to our service folks, see if they can help you out with it. Auto level right here. Yes, you do get automatic leveling on this one. Very nice feature. Come around to the campsite. You'll see that we got my propane tanks on both sides, dual 20 pounds on both. Finished off pass through storage with the magnetic anti-slam latch in here. Now, Cable hookup and power hookup, plus we got the lights. Good space to store whatever you want, but if you want to do some outside entertainment, you got a little porthole right here for safety and security. And hello, buddy. Um, you don't have to worry about just having loose cables outside or just a connection outside. That's actually a very nice little feature. Add that to the fact that Forest River always thinks about the pets. So they give you a 15 pound hitch right here, or hitch, they give you a 15 pound tie down right here, so that if you wanna keep the, the pets secure and safe at the campsite, you have that option. Armored underbelly, which means it is an enclosed and heated underbelly. Plus they have the panels under there. So if you need to do some repair work, you have to take the whole entire thing off. Solid step over steps leading into the main entry point. And this was a feature for 2021 that I think Forest River did with their Arctic Wolves that I absolutely love. The tinted tempered glass door. Just awesome. It's privacy glass, looks good going down the road, looks good set up. You got the slide right here. And under there are our nitro filled tires. You'll see it even has the tire pressure monitoring system on those aluminum rims, the Dexter easy lube axles, that extra wide berth, making sure you're not gonna get a lot of bouncing going back and forth. You wanna set up the grill, you can. Boom, LP Quick Connect is right there. And Bobby, I'm sorry, we completely passed over the awning, but this one's got a 12 foot awning on it over there on the front with LED light strip, the whole nine. Look at him running. Get your exercise in today, Robert. It's a beautiful day while I sit here and eat more cinnamon buns. All right, four by four sewer hose storage. We got the bike rack mounted on the back. Love this because if you bring you the bikes or you wanna do the coolers, whatever, you got a space for it. Backup camera, you can see it right there. And it's, that's, that's that backup camera that you can use. Uh, you know, it's, it's Bluetooth. So you could use just like a little device to put in the front. Arch ceilings with the three inch rubber nozzles. External shower with hot and cold, 50 amp service right here. We'll come on down before we take a look at the terminations because we got a little storage compartment right here, which I like. I like having these little odd storage spots because you never know where you might need to put something. Good grab and go spot right here. Put your shoes, put your some of your hunting gear, tackle boxes, whatever you may need. Come on around right here. And Bobby, right down there, you'll see that we have our wastewater holding tank, our sewer outlet connections. You got a 49 gallon fresh, 70 gallon gray, 35 gallon black tank on this one. All of our external connections right there, fresh water connection, black tank flush, or fresh water, city, black tank flush, cable satellite connections right there, get everything hooked up. The other side of my pass through storage, my other little propane tank. I'd get some 30s put in there if I were you. I would, I would change that. I would get some 30s, you got the space for it, might as well get that upgrade. Magnetic anti-slam right there. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this info panel right here. Now I've been talking about how this one's roughly 8,400 pounds dry. You'll see on this one, gross vehicle weight, 11,455 pounds. Now dry weight, roughly 84, gross 11,000. That's where you take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and at Gander and you say, hey, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Is this what's right for me? Because at the end of the day, it just depends on what are you towing it with? Where are you gonna take it? How many people are you sleeping? Let us guide you down the path of finding the RV that's right for you. But if you're looking to be the adventurous couple, you want the creature comforts of home in a midsize but spacious RV, I mean, 34 feet long, I gotta tell you, this 291 RL Alpha Wolf, excuse me, Arctic Wolf, is a good pick for you to put at the top of your list. I'd say check it out. But leave me some comments down below and let me know, what'd you like about this limited edition? 
I'm limited edition too. No, I'm not. I'm a hack. But uh, if, you got, <laughs> if you got any questions, Bob's just shaking his head. He and I are going to have a little chat after this. Leave me a comment down below. Click like, subscribe, and notify so next time we get a video, you're the first one to see it. Unlike Bobby. Bye.